Hi, I'm Robin. And I'm Lisa. Welcome to April's Science Kids Zone. Well, Lisa, we've been in the Lenten season since Ash Wednesday. That's true. We've been thinking about Christ's life and death and what happened so many years ago. Yes, and during these 40 days, we can remember all the special things of Jesus' ministry. He chose his disciples, then traveled with them, teaching them about God and showing them how to spread God's message and God's love. Yes, and then there's Holy Week. On Palm Sunday, we think about Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem riding a donkey. Oh, how the people celebrated that day. That was also, the, that, that week, Jesus also had his last meal with his disciples in the upper room. And that's when he told them that one of them would hurt them. They were really sad, and they wondered who it would be. Well, they soon found out that Judas was the one who would turn Jesus into the soldiers in the Garden of Gethsemane. Those soldiers then took Jesus to the authorities and they ended up hanging him on a cross. All of those people that were so happy on Palm Sunday were now really, really sad. Then they took him and wrapped him in linens and put him in a tomb. He lay there for three days and all the people who loved him were in mourning. They missed him a lot. But Lisa, then came Easter and what a day of joy that was. Yep. You know, this kind of reminds me of a story called The Folded Napkin. It ex explains a little bit more about the Easter story. Okay, I'll help you tell it. Thanks. Here I have two kinds of napkins. This one is paper. It's like the ones that you find at McDonald's. And they didn't have paper back in Jesus' time. This napkin is cloth. I've seen those. So you find those in fancier restaurants. <laughs> yep, you sure do. What do you do with your fancy napkin when you're finished eating it, eating with it? Do you wad it up or do you take the time to fold it back? Well, I usually just wad it up and leave it at the table because after all, I'm finished. Exactly. But in past times, there were two things that you could do with this napkin. First, you could wad it up and put it on your plate. And that would tell the waiter that you're finished with your meal and you would be leaving soon. Well, what was the second thing? Well, if you weren't finished with your meal and you had to like leave the table for a minute and come back, you would fold your napkin neatly and leave it on your plate. That told the waiter that you weren't quite finished yet and that you would be coming back. Well, what does that have to do with Easter and with Jesus? Do you remember on that first Easter, while it was still dark and Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stones were rolled away? Mm -hmm, that's right. Then she ran to tell Simon Peter and John that Jesus' body was missing. Yes, she said they had taken the Lord's body out of the tomb, and I don't know where they had put him. That must have been really scary. But Peter and John ran back to the tomb to see for themselves. They noticed only the linen cloths in the tomb. Jesus' body wasn't there. Peter went inside to investigate. You're right. And guess what they found? The linen cloths were in kind of a mess all except one. John 27 tells us, and the napkin that was about his head was not lying with the linen cloths, but was folded together in a place by itself. Now, why do you suppose Jesus would have folded the cloth before he left the tomb? Well, think about the napkin story I just told you. It wasn't wadded up, it was folded. And although his earthly work was finished, his significance was not. Oh, so by folding the napkin, it meant Jesus was not done. He said, wait, there's more, I'm coming back. Exactly. And I think of that napkin as a reminder that I don't have to be finished yet either. I don't have to be perfect. I can keep learning and keep growing. Yes, and I can keep serving and teaching and reaching out to others. Isn't that a perfect Easter message? Yes, it is, Lisa. Thanks for the story. Can we say a prayer? Absolutely. Dear God, be with us this Lenten season as we remember your life. Help us to keep our napkins folded so that we are never finished learning about you and can share your message with others. Amen. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month. Bye. Bye.